Record Store Day 2017 at Amoeba Music is almost here, and the official list of releases has already been posted online. So in this video, we're going to talk about all that good stuff and what you should expect on Record Store Day 2017. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Record Store Day 2017, the exclusive releases, and in general, what you should expect. Now, what exactly is Record Store Day? Well, this year, Record Store Day falls on April 22nd, which is coming up very soon. And according to the official website, Record Store Day was started in 2007 as a way for people who love music and vinyl records to kind of come together to celebrate the whole record store atmosphere. And it's also a great day for music junkies to pick up rare and exclusive releases on vinyl that are only offered on that day. Also, the Record Store Day event itself is yet another great opportunity to get the general public interested in vinyl records again. Now, every year Record Store Day tends to get bigger and bigger and 2017 will be no exception, especially because this year is their 10 year year anniversary, so independent record shops all over the world are going to be participating. So being that lots of different places are going to be taking part in this event, why is Amoeba Music so special? Well, personally, I like Amoeba in Hollywood because they are by far the biggest record shop in all of Los Angeles, and they might even be the biggest on the entire West Coast. And apart from their size, they also have a really cool independent music culture. I mean, Amoeba in Hollywood is definitely like one of the most recognizable landmark spots in all of Southern California. And being that there's so many different things to see there, it's a really cool place to just hang out with your friends. So essentially, if you love music and you live nearby, it's a no-brainer. Now, if you are planning on attending Record Store Day at Amoeba in Hollywood, what should you expect? Well, I made this video a while back about my experience last year in 2016, so you can check that one out if you want to know what it's going to be like. But in general, it was a lot of fun, and Amoeba even had free food, coffee, and these really cool looking fans to keep everyone cool as we waited in line. So basically, I feel like Amoeba did a really good job keeping everything well organized. All right, now let's talk about the official list of releases. Well, this year we got about 350 different releases by lots of different artists and musicians. Now, I'm not gonna cover every single one of them in this video because it would be way too long, but if you wanna check them out for yourself, I'll have the link of the entire list posted down below. Now, here are a few titles that caught my eye. First off, I'm most excited about the John Williams Star Wars 10-inch vinyl record, which looks super cool. Now, there's only 4,000 copies of it worldwide, so I'm sure it's gonna sell out fast, but if by some miracle I could get my hands on it, I would be a very, very happy nerd. Next up, we got a George Carlin record called Jammin' in New York. Now, I'd have to say that George Carlin is by far one of my personal favorite stand-up comedians of all time. He definitely had a way of making you think and also laugh, so I'd really love to have one of his comedy records in my collection. Now, last of all, we got a Bill Evans record called Another Time, The Hilversum Concert, which was recorded live in 1968 in the Netherlands. Now, I've never heard a bad Bill Evans record because all of his stuff is just so incredible, especially if you really love listening to absolutely timeless jazz music. This is the kind of stuff you play on a rainy day when you just want to kick back and relax your mind. Now, last of all, if you guys want to see what it's really like behind the scenes of Record Store Day at Amoeba and how they have everything really organized, then you can check out this video, which will show you how the entire process works. But basically, Record Store Day is always a lot of fun because it's a cool place to meet other people that love music as much as you do, and also get your hands on some really limited releases that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. And also, as a side note, it's way more fun to actually attend the Record Store Day event than it is to buy the records later on for a ridiculous price on eBay. So my personal two cents is that we should definitely be supporting independent record shops and not all those notorious record flippers 
on eBay. Now, what do you guys think about Record Store Day 2017, and are there any special titles that you personally have your eye on? Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love music, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down in the video description below. And most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day and keep spinning that vinyl.